neither Ken Russell or I got paid any money for that film. We got our expenses. We made that film because we thought that it was a proper time. And in the light of, of maybe the, the troubles in Ulster now, it, it was a proper time for that film to be made. Mm. We weren't trying to afford anybody proper niceties, any proper little entertainments, little asides before tea. We were showing them the bigotry that goes on or that humanity is capable of. And that is all we were doing. If they didn't like to stomach it, it's because nobody, and for once they said, well, we don't like bigotry. For once they said it. Mm. Strangely enough, it, did, it wasn't a, a financial success in the country one would expect it to be, in the United States of America. Um, and that is the big market. It represents about 62% of the whole world gross. It's an enormous market. It wasn't a success there. Where, you know, usually if films are going to be a success, they've got to go well in America. And perhaps, you know, the problem with our market is, is that we don't think enough about that. We make films for the domestic market. It was successful in Europe, and it was successful in Italy and in France and in Germany and maybe in Japan because of its erotic content. But it was, it was more successful in Europe because I happen to believe that they were closer to the problem. I mean, what we were trying to do was, it was to point in some direction, and all of us, you know, and I, I'm an agnostic, but pray to whoever it might be that, you know, it starts. And I think that if we make a movie that is horrific enough and, and, is, and, and the property of the movie is the basis of, of, of different groups, different factions, religious factions or whatever they might be, fighting each other. I mean, how many times have armies fought under the banner of Christianity and how many lives have been destroyed? I mean, let's not have it again, please.